<clears throat> okay, here we are. We're going to discuss how to rack the balls properly. There's two ways to rack. There's my way, and then there's the wrong way. <laughs> so, uh, for an eight ball game, obviously the eight's in the middle. These balls, make sure you have opposite. So if you have a stripe here, make sure you have a solid here. And uh, this one doesn't really matter. You know, it, it could be a stripe or a solid. Just as long as these two balls are different. Two balls behind the eight ball have to be different. And as you go around the perimeter, just make sure there's no three of any one kind that are in a row. If you had that three, that would be bad. So uh, here's a proper rack. I don't think you can see it, but there's a tiny little dot that I put with a sharpie in the exact right spot. I stretched a string this way and a string this way. I got a dot on each end of my table. Uh, my rack, actually, even though it's a triangle and theoretically, all three shot sides should be exactly the same. I've discovered that there is one spot on this rack that likes to be forward, and I put a little arrow. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little arrow there. And if I keep the arrow forward, that gives me the tightest rack, so I make sure I use that facing forward all the time. Make sure when you're racking, you stick all four of your fingers back here in this area, and you squeeze as hard as you can, and it's a three-step process. You're going to push forward to spot that lead ball right on top of that dot, and now I'm squeezing as hard as I can. That's step one and then you're going to release your fingers really slowly looking for any movement if there's no movement you're going to try step two you're going to push the rack forward and uh... presuming none of the balls move which it appears none did or if they did it's microscopically so that's step two step three is a slight lift yeah i know you haters are going to point out that i touched the ball here but we're going to do it again i'm going to do it fast I'm going to squeeze Gently pull the fingers, step two, push the rack forward, and then lift. And that's a nice tight rack, and uh, that's going to give a really good break.